Welcome to Markets on Air. Made in Germany under Chinese ownership. A Kikert central locking system has to sound deep and resonant. German trained engineer Shinlei Wang is fine tuning the sound in the company's lab. It's one way Kikert sets its systems apart from the competition. Here people look for solutions through consensus. That's the German mentality. I'd say the typical Chinese work culture is more guarded and communication is indirect. Two years ago, a Chinese investor purchased a majority stake in the more than 150-year-old German company. The new owner produces car parts but not locking systems. The two companies operate in different product segments, so there's no competition. One can learn from the other, but neither company can harm the other. It's a win-win situation for the Germans and the Chinese. Xinlei Wang is using a Chinese product and German-style thoroughness to test Kikert locking systems. He knows firsthand that German quality can also be achieved under Chinese ownership. Preventing crop failure. Buyer in Colombia. Coffee production is a key industry in Colombia. But a destructive plague of insects has been ruining the coffee farmers' crops. The biggest problem here in the region is the coffee borer beetle. It's a tiny insect that causes tremendous damage to coffee beans. One of Bayer's most important production facilities in Latin America is located in Barranquilla, on the Colombian coast. The scientists here are working hard to develop an effective pesticide against the beetle. When developing new chemicals for use in pest control, it's important for companies like Bayer to be quicker than the competition. Barranquilla is a very competitive location because the people we train here are highly qualified, and the location is also good strategically. From here we can serve not only the Colombian market, but also the Andes region, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, and even the export markets of Brazil and Argentina. This crop of coffee beans is ready for delivery. The workers are hoping for a good harvest and for an end to the plague of beetles. Any company that offers the right pesticide is certain to do good business in Colombia. More growth for Germany. The German government expects the country's economy to pick up speed this year and next. Officials are forecasting 1.8 percent higher growth in 2014, followed by an even stronger increase of 2 percent in 2015. Rising private consumption and greater investment in the economy are said to be the main factors driving growth. Pacific Alliance slashes tariffs. Trade between Chile, Colombia, Mexico and Peru will soon be largely duty-free. Heads of state from the four member nations have signed a free trade agreement eliminating tariffs on all goods, with the exception of sugar. More money for infrastructure. Germany has to spend some 120 billion euros on roads, bridges and IT networks over the next 10 years if it wants to stay competitive as a business location. That's according to the Cologne Institute for Economic Research, which surveyed 2,800 companies in Germany. Five billion, one hundred million euros. That's how much the German government is giving energy-intensive industries as a rebate this year. Berlin is exempting some 2,100 companies from paying the country's green energy surcharge, levied to help finance Germany's transition to renewable energy. The government says the rebates are necessary to ensure the firm's competitiveness. Out in the country, immigrants want it. They come from all over, from Turkey, Kosovo, or locally from Swabia in Germany's southwest. Qualified workers are in demand at Ziel Apek, a global manufacturer of fans and ventilators. Liviu Somishan is a newly arrived engineer from Romania. For me, it was a difficult decision to come here because uh, I, have to, I had to leave my family there in Romania. But for me, for my career, is a, a big step because 
I have the opportunity to learn new things, to improve my skills, and that's why I came here. The company is located in the town of Kunzelzau. The surrounding region is home to a number of world market leaders, so competition is fierce for highly qualified staff. Along with Zomashan, the firm has recruited another new staff member from Romania and one from Peru. The Human Resources Department helps them adjust. If I want to employ someone, I have to offer them additional information. I can't just bring them here to Kunzelzau and leave them to their own devices. Liviu Zomashan has taken the first step. Now the 28-year-old has to get past his probation period. That was Markets on Air.